guys in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a vacuum gauge to diagnose some of your problems. Now, before digital OBD scanners, there was vacuum gauges, and everybody used them. And I'll tell you what, they could pinpoint a problem in seconds. Now, with this gauge, this is a Matco, and it pretty much tells you right here, uh, occasional drop indicates carb or tappets needed adjustment. And then plugs miss, sticky valves, or trouble in carburetor. That could be uh, occasional dropping in the needle. Um, this particular uh, vacuum gauge tells a lot of stuff. So when you're in the red over here on 10 and 20, uh, positive, instead of vacuum, your positive pressure, it'll tell you um, late valve timing or leak, intake manifold. And then when you're below in the negative, because we're on vacuum right now, and I, you just want to hook up your vacuum line after the throttle body. Don't hook it up to the throttle body. So find any kind of vacuum line, unplug it. As long as it has vacuum, stick your finger on it while the engine's running. And if it makes a suction, that's vacuum. You just run your vacuum line right to it. Plug it right in. And pretty much, you want to be in the, you know, six, I'd say 17, 18 to 20 plus range. 21, 20. so pretty much the normal is in the 18 to 20 somewhere around there and then you, if you're 15 you got late timing or ignition so that's one thing I was concerned about when I rebuilt this engine there's no timing marks so a good way to find out if you got your timing right is to do a vacuum test on it so we're gonna start it up and see what we get now I have the AC on so every time the compressor kicks on it goes back down just a little bit so don't worry about that if you want better readings turn off your AC compressor now we when we rev the engine up we don't want to see this drop down to zero slowly because then that means we got a bad catalytic converter or some clog somewhere in the exhaust system we want it to raise up so I'm gonna hit it with the throttle body right here just go faster and it should go up That's what we want to see. Now that it's running, it should periodically start to drop down. And there it goes right now. It's going to go back to its original uh, 20 to 18 percent. Now here's something you don't want to do. You don't want to set it on top of the intake because you can see it fluctuating right now. And the reason why it's fluctuating is vibration and that could be a misdiagnosis. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane and I'll see you guys next time.